not many can't afford. Not many. Okay. Hey, you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we still have to do this technique. I will cater a little bit to the learning uh, of the guys that have been here, but you guys will definitely be able to get this, okay? Usually, I start off by showing a head outside single rows you dealt with one of our kind of our signature moves here at camp. Alright? And I, I show it in two parts. I show it from the mat, then I show it shot to finish. Today we're going to show it in one part when you go out there shot and finish. So you guys really have to pay close attention here. Now, head outside single rotate double for us should probably be called a head outside single rotate to a double. Here's what's going to happen. Alright, before I bring a partner out here. Imagine I shoot a head outside single I'm in good solid position and he's going to sprawl. Just because he sprawls doesn't mean I get out of position, I put my head down, I get extended or anything like that. The basis of this move is this. I want to transfer his weight, that weight that he's sprawling down, putting on top of me, to his far knee. I'm going to do that by changing level and direction. This is the whole step. I'm going to take a step with my left foot. All right, my left foot's going to step up. This is my trail leg. I step up with my left foot. As I do that, I'm going to winch your with my right foot. Now notice. My right knee is playing on that. This is going to be my pivot point. My right foot is going to winch your right foot. As I do this, I'm going to do two things at once. I'm going to change level and direction. I step up with my left foot. I winch your right with my right foot. I'm going to change level and direction. As I do this, I'm going to shift the weight to his far knee. All right? When I get all that weight across, I'm also going to have an angle on my opponent. I'm going to be able to switch to a double and drive. Uh, Eli, can I use I'll use Mario. I'll use Mario here in a second. Head outside single. I'm going to show you here from the mat, then I'll take it from shot to finish. I shoot a head outside single. He's broke. Now look. Eli's being a good partner here, all right? He's sprawling so he gives me a, a feel, but not sprawling so much that he beats me. He's also not sprawling so little that he gets my feet. If he doesn't sprawl at all, stand straight up, I'll simply do this, I'll drive up, all right? I don't need to do a rotate double, all right? If he sprawls so much he gets me extended, the rotate double's not the move. It's gonna be the lift swim, we're gonna show you that in a little bit. Or, I'm sorry, lift out the back door. Or if he hangs over top, I'm gonna do a lift swim. We're gonna show you that in a little bit. Right now, I need him to sprawl and pull that leg back. I think part of what makes Ram tough, guys, is our guys know how to drill and be a good partner. Not just they are able to execute the technique, but they're able to be a good partner. Now, Eli's sprawling, all right? He's pulled his right leg back. My right hand goes high on his leg. It's going to go to the top of the hamstring, the bottom of the butt cheek. My left hand's going to go low. As I do my level and direction change, my elbow's going to do this. I'm going to pull in and down. My elbows will go on my side. What's going to happen here is I'm actually going to hyperextend his leg a little bit, get a little bit of isolation on his leg so he can't square up and sprawl. I'm going to take a step with my left foot. Watch my left foot. My left foot's going to step up. I'm going to winch up with my right foot. I'm going to go to my right knee as I do this. I'm going to change level direction. My butt will drop to my heel. I step up. I winch up with my foot. I rotate to here. Now look, when I do this, I end up in my stance on my knees, but I have an angle. I pulled in and down with my elbows. Now look. My right knee is pointed across Eli's hips. My opponent has three lines of defense. His head, his hands, and his hips. This is the last line of defense I have to beat before I get this takedown. My knee is pointed across his hips. I will shift right from my single to my double. I'll drive right across the front and I'll finish. I am not jumping across the back. I'm not reaching to his far ankle. I'm reaching right here across the front to a double and I drive. All right, we're gonna do this in one motion. Uh, I'm actually going to take a shot, he's going to pull that leg back, and I'm going to step immediately up and rotate. This is where you guys start to struggle, all right? I showed you that motion from my knees, all right? My, my left knee is actually never going to hit that mat. It's crucial that when I take a step with my left foot, this is going to be my propelling force for my rotation. Just because he's sprawling doesn't mean I abandon the setup, all right? I still have to have a good setup, all right, to get past his head and his hands. Let's go inside tight collar tie. Remember, I'm doing two things at once here. I'm changing level and direction. I'm trying to get him out of his stance while putting myself in position to score. All right? Anytime I touch him, I do it with a purpose. Get him out of his stance. Circle. Change level and direction. Notice, I'm ready to penetrate. As I release his head, his head comes up. My head is lower than his head. I beat his first line of defense by being lower. My hands are inside his hands. I beat his second line of defense by being inside. I penetrate him on my toe. He sprawls that leg back. Now, perfect. At this point, I recognize I can't get to my feet. I'm going to take a big step with my left foot. This is going to keep my hips underneath me. Notice, I didn't get extended. I took another step with my left foot. I didn't let myself get extended. My left hand's going to go low. I'm going to winch you my right foot. I'm going to pull him down. Step up, winch your wiper. Pull him down. Notice my position. I'm in my stance. I'm on my knees. I'm going to drive right across the front to my gut. Right. I have an angle. If I finish this motion and I end up in front of the guy, but he's on his knees, I won't finish. 
I have to be able to drive across. All right? A couple big mistakes you guys are going to have. One, you'll hit a head outside single. You'll go to rotate double. And instead of pulling down, you'll lift up. You'll go from here. You'll step up. You'll rotate. You'll do this. I'm not lifting up. I am pulling down. I want to get all this weight to as far in. Two, you will not windshield wiper that back foot. You may get him to his far knee, which is my goal, but you won't get that angle. It'll look like this. Head outside, single, he sprawls. You don't windshield wiper, he do this. Well, now I don't have the angle. I really don't have the pressure across. He continues to square up that direction and sprawl and get me down. He'll spin this way. I want to get some isolation on his right leg. I do that by getting that angle, pulling my elbows into my side. Inside tight, collar tight. Circle. Head outside, single, he sprawls. I step up. I reach right up, I rotate. Now look, as I rotate, I pull it down. Look what I'm doing to his knee. I'm pulling his ankle out to the side a little bit. That stops him from doing this, squaring up and facing me. And I'll shift right across the floor. All right? Guys, very simple technique that revolves around the level and direction change. As soon as I feel that sprawl, I have to commit to this motion right here. That comes from this foot. This foot is crucial. This foot is the propelling force to change my direction. I step up, I reach away from I rotate. I shift all that weight from my shoulder to his far leg. Um, Brent and Eli, you guys do it? Inside tie, collar tie, head outside, single, rotate double. Watch these guys. Head outside, single, rotates to a double. Look at his ankle. Knee was pointed across the hips. Head outside, single, rotates to a double. Not bad, but see a good setup. Inside tie, collar tie, head outside, single, rotates to a double. He's pulling down, getting the weight to that far knee. Head outside, single, rotate to a double. You got it? Let's do it. One, two, three.